haven't seen this yet. Dinwiddie and I just found another one. This one looks like a monster. Dang. Look at the rock work on this one. That's definitely the front step. Hmm. What do you think, Denny? Treasure here? There's gotta be some treasure here. Dang. That's a good six foot deep, man. You can stand up in there. Look at that. That's so freaking cool. Dang, just finding these sites is a treasure. That is awesome. All right. Time to get it on. Okay, here's my first thing. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks like it's some sort of jewelry that's busted or something. Not real sure. It's definitely fancy. What do you guys think that is? That's a big old button. Ooh. Yeah. And you got back marks. Here, I got a brush. I'm gonna brush it up. Yeah. Oh man, I hope that's focusing. But it says 1904. It's got all kinds of fancy. Fancy all over it. Man, that's beautiful. I don't know what 1904 would even stand for. I have no idea. Man, we have just not been here long. We're finding stuff. I got a button here. Not as great as yours, but button. Well, look at that. I just got a pocket watch. It's not in great shape. Boom, that's still pretty cool. I gotta get the... Looks like he got himself a part of a pistol here. That's awesome, man. Yeah. It's <laughs> cool. First real one. <laughs> First real one. Pistol smile. <laughs> that looks like I got me a little cuff link. Looks like I might have had some uh, gold guild on it at one point. Ah, oh, this is gonna be cool. I know what this is. This is going to be a sheep tag. Yep. We'll probably even have... Yeah, somebody's name on there. This is always cool because you can try to find them. Looks like sheep number 654. Howard Nye, Dixon, Montana. Oh, I love getting little personal things like this. That's so cool. A little piece of history saved right there. Awesome. So I dug into an ant pile. Good thing these ants are cold. I got a coin. Oh, it's an Indian. Heck yeah, baby. That's pretty. 1907. How sweet. Yeah, it sounds just like a zinc penny. So I got some sort of cool relic here. What do we got? Dang, I'm going to have to clean this sucker up. I don't think I have one like this. Yeah, this is really unique. So... It's kind of like an alligator clip, but like a, it's got like a little strap piece on there. I have not seen one like that before. Huh. Very cool. Dang, I don't know what I have here for sure. Is that like a bridal rosette? <laughs> Is that like a really fancy bridal rosette? That is really neat. Huh. So, I'm nowhere near where I found that other cuff link, but I think I found the other one. Or at least one that's identical. This one's got a lot more of the gold gilt on it though. So I just found a little teeny hinge piece. That's probably off like a jewelry box or something. 
man, I just got some little piece of jewelry. Looks very fancy, too. Oh, that might be a button. Oh, let me clean that up. Sorry for the wind. There's a storm coming in, but yeah, that's a button. You see the little, little piece on the back? And I don't know what that is. Little fake gems, little beads. Obviously, a few have fell off, but I've never seen one like that before. Looks like I got a second one of those clips from earlier. This one's not near as good a shape, though. Little buckle piece. So, believe it or not, that's another fancy button. So, I don't know if you'll be able to make that out, but I think it's a Poseidon button. Looks like a guy holding a trident, standing in a seashell. That's a crazy button. Well, that's a heck of a fancy drawer pull. I think these guys had some money. Well, unfortunately, it's getting dark. Uh, this is just an after work hunt. Stay tuned, we got some more. Got another spot. Look at this garbage. Winter is here. So Dinwiddie and I are just trying a little spot that he thinks there might have been a home site here. We've only been here like five or ten minutes. Look at this. They got a coin. The heck is it? Dang, dude. I think that's gonna be something good. Boy, it's thin. Let me uh, check it out. Dang, so I don't know if I can get this to focus. It's some sort of silver coin. It's got a f woman's face, I think, pointing to the left. I wonder if this is a Canadian dime or something. It's so slick. There's like a little, I don't know, looks like the base of a tree or something right there. Dang, silver already. I'm gonna figure out what it is. Stay tuned. <laughs> Just because I have another good sound, he's encroaching. That's because all he does is walk right to the good things. Well, we're definitely on to something. We're both getting a lot of the you know regular trash and stuff, lots of rivets and well that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that's a weird buckle. Yeah, it's all metal with the whole strap. It's almost like an alligator clip with yeah. a something something on it. Oh, wagon or piece of farm equipment. Look at that, kid's got a spoon. Oh, it's gonna be a pretty one. It's got a lot of flaving on it. Or is it sterling? Dang, that thing's really cleaning up, isn't it? Whew. I've never got a sterling spoon. I wouldn't complain if this was the first. Oh, I can see right on there. I think it says silver plate. Let me uh, clean it up a little, make sure. Real pretty spoon. But it does say coin, extra coin silver plate. Not a sterling spoon, but it is beautiful. Well, I must have found the kitchen. There's another spoon. But that one's not nearly as nice, is it? Dinwiddie says he's got something. Oh, a token, maybe. A token, I believe, yeah. Well, I see 12 and a half cents so yeah, far. Good for it. I think the other side's pretty toasted. I have to clean it up a little more and see, but... Yeah, clean it up, and we'll tell these people what it is. All right. So I don't know if you can see, but it's been hold, double hold. I don't know if we're gonna get much off of it, but it says, it only says something about being good for 12 and a half cents. I gotta love tokens, man. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> it's awesome, thanks. I knew it had to be here somewhere. Look at that, some suspender clip. It's one of my favorite little things to get at these sites. That one doesn't have as much detail as some, but I'll take it. There we go. 
little brass buckle. Well, that's what it looked like. <laughs> Not much there to see, but that turned out to be a pretty decent little spot. Nice little after work hunt. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed both of those hunts. See you on the next one.